So tell me about HML this year, Terrell. I mean, last year you guys had a winning record, but uh, this year going in, like, what's different? What do you think the team has improved in? You know, what, what's it like going into the year? I feel like the seniors have to step up and take on the incoming freshmen under the take them under their wing and help them to get better and perform because without them, then we're not going to be a team. And I feel like if everybody don't have the mindset and the ability to do what they got to do, then we're not going to be able to do anything, accomplish no goals, nothing. No matter what coach say, it all depends on what we got in our mind and what we want to do to be the best that we could be. And if we don't come to practice and perform and feel like um, you're going to try your best, then I don't feel like you should come to practice like with the wrong losing mindset. And if you're going to be playing in the locker room, I feel like you don't deserve to be in the locker room. You might as well just watch the game and pay your money like everybody else. So tell me about, you know, overall the team and what's it like when people say, you know, oh, you guys are playing independent football, so it's a little different. You know, there's not the playoffs at the end, but maybe just like a bowl game, that type of thing. What, what kind of motivation drives you guys in that respect, playing for this type in this type of season? Honestly, we would rather be in a in the division or play for a championship or something. But you got to look at it from a different perspective because if you if you play, everybody can't be in it for one. And then again, the bro, the bowl game should be enough. If you have love for the game, you shouldn't. It shouldn't matter what you want to play for, what you play, what the incentives or anything. You should just want to do it out of your love for the game. Where are you from? Again, what's your background? Oh no, I played for Pepper Park in the Optimus since I was like four years old in the Pee Wees. Mm -hmm. Up until I was five, I went to Myrtle Grove Elementary. Mm -hmm. For my whole elementary life, I went to Miami Lakes Middle, and then I came to HML. And then I decided, after moving a couple of times, I still decided to stay, no matter how far the distance, because once you're dedicated to a team, you should feel like you can't leave no matter what, how far you got to do, how far you got to go. So you're kind of destined to play for HML kind of thing growing up. It yes. seemed like that was going to be your, 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 once you got to high school, that's the football team you're going to be with. Yeah, you go, like, you get a bond with the people, the teammates, the coaches. I have, like, I've been playing football my whole life. I haven't come across a coach, like, a coaching staff like this in my life. Their, remote, their main goal is to better you as an individual before football. They want education first, so I feel like I want to stick around this program because I never found a program like this. So what, what's the future going to hold for you after after high school? What are, what, are you, what are you looking at right now as far as like a, you know, maybe a school you're good? I don't really go have a specific school in mind, but if I can find a school with a coaching staff like this one, then I'm for sure going to that school.